Oh, I... I didn't expect to see you here. Um... Hmm? No, no, it's, it's not a bad thing that you're here, it's just more so... I never thought this was your type of environment. Oh, you were a plus one. That makes sense. Um, well, hey, it's it's nice to see you again. Oh yeah, I'm I'm fine. Just had a few drinks, you know. <laughs> I appreciate you worrying though. That's really sweet of you. So, um, what brings you here anyway? Hmm, I see just accompanying someone? I don't mean to pry, but who did you come with? Oh, I see. I do remember you talking about them before. Yeah, in the past. Well, I'm really glad that you're here. But it's probably for the best that you head back to your date. Yeah, they're waiting for you, aren't they? I understand, it's just... I'd rather not take up too much of your time. You did come here with someone for a reason. <laughs> You're really sweet. But it's fine. We can always catch up another time. Besides, this isn't the last party to ever happen. So it's fine. I'll see you later, okay? Huh? You wanted to talk to me? Really? I mean, yeah, that's... That's fine. Is everything okay, though? Oh, just just making sure. Don't worry. But, uh, yeah, we, we can talk. Let's, uh, go somewhere a little more private. Here. <sighs> you know, I'm actually really grateful for this. Yeah, I was actually getting really overstimulated and... I don't know. I guess when I get a little tipsy, I get more sensitive to certain environments. Because usually I can handle stuff like this, but for some odd reason, everything was so loud. So overwhelming. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe tonight is just not my night. <laughs> but yeah, um, sorry. Don't mean to stall. What is it that you wanted to talk about? Oh, you wanted to let me know that wasn't your date? Okay, well, um, thank you for letting me know. I hate to be that person, I'm not trying to sound rude, but... Why did you feel the need to tell me this? You know? W what do you mean that you know? I, I don't really understand what you're trying to say here. You. Okay, um, I don't know if it's the alcohol talking, but I think I need to get some water. No, this, this isn't me running away from another conversation. It's just more so me being very overwhelmed, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. And... <sighs> Man. I am not a good liar, especially when I'm drunk, huh? <laughs> I feel like by even talking, I'm just spilling out all of my feelings, so I might as well tell you everything. Yeah, I like you. I've liked you for a very, very long time. I've just accepted that I have these feelings and allowed myself to feel. I never wanted to force anything onto you, and I never wanted you to feel uncomfortable because I loved what we had. I loved our friendship so much. But of course, it's only natural for someone to become jealous, to become spiteful when they see the person that they like starting to drift away. And I noticed you were talking to that person a whole lot, and... I thought maybe it was for the best that I left you guys alone. So, I did. Because no matter what, even if it involves my feelings, I should never 
Never try to steal your happiness away. And if this person makes you happy, then I'm happy. I'm happy that you found someone that gave you everything that you deserved. Because you're a really, really good person. And I don't mean that lightly. I don't say things like this for nothing. You made all of these years so much more bearable for me. I don't even think you realize the impact you had on so many people's lives, including my own. In the beginning, I was so scared of just not fitting in. Not finding anyone that would accept me for who I was. But you were there. Every single time. Just wanting to be my friend. Wanting to cherish me. Wanting to learn more about who I was and why I enjoyed the things that I did. I never had anyone care that much before. And maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but that meant so much to me. It really, really did. And I, uh, oh, sorry, I, I drank a little too much, but, um, no, no, I'm fine. It's just, please, let me get through this. All I want to say is, even if I'm not in the picture, if you are happy, then I couldn't ask for more. I will always appreciate you. I will always have love for you. The only thing that I ask is that you do things that make you happy. Don't compromise yourself. Please remember that you deserve so much. Please. That's, that's all I ask. <sighs> I seriously do think I need that water, though. I feel... Very dehydrated. Huh? <sighs> <coughs> oh, you saved me. Yeah, I, I've i just been drinking ever since I got here. Not like a crazy amount, but you know what I mean. <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah. I'm also really happy to have this conversation, but... I will say, I am kind of mad at myself. Well, it shouldn't take me being this drunk to have this conversation, you know? I have many flaws like everyone else, and one of my biggest ones is that I get so scared to communicate my feelings. And this flaw has led to a lot of my friendships and even relationships to kind of grow distant. And that is my fault, you know? It's just, I get so scared to communicate my feelings because I'm already different as it is, and I don't want to give someone another reason to view me differently, if that makes sense. I get a lot of people who judge me immediately for how I dress and, you know, my style and things. So, when there are people who appreciate me and, you know, accept me for who I am, I hold them very close. But by doing that, I get really scared because what if I tell them something and that just gives them the reason to view me differently again? That terrifies me, you know? And I don't really feel it right now, but I can just tell. If I was sober and I was telling you this, I... I don't think I would even be able to finish the conversation. Not even kidding. That's how bad it is. I really don't like that about myself, but... I have to just accept this is how I am and try to be better every day. And so I guess this is my way of being better for today. <laughs> Look at me trying to justify this entire mess. Yes, I would say that this is a mess. Look at me, I'm completely hammered, just spilling my heart out to, to my crush. I mean, come on, you gotta admit that this is pretty messy. <laughs> I would say so. It's definitely not the preferred way I'd like to tell you this. I don't know, maybe I could get over my fears of communication and actually tell you when I'm sober. <laughs> that is a pretty big part. Speaking of which, I don't know how I'm gonna react when I do sober up. 
Am I even going to remember this conversation? Who knows? <laughs> but hey, at least we're having it. Yeah, I know this is a very, like, simple thing, but I would consider this a huge milestone. For the longest time, I wasn't able to say anything. Yet, here I am, pouring my heart out to you. But I don't know if I can label this as progress because I just went from point A to point B in an instant. And I really hope I didn't ruin anything. <laughs> I know, I know, it's just my anxiety speaking. Even when drunk, my mind continues to overthink. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just an old habit of mine. And you know what they say. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to say it out loud. Hmm? You have something to tell me? Uh-oh. Should I be worried? Oh, okay. What's up? You want to prove something? I mean, sure, yeah, the floor's yours. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Sorry, I didn't expect you to get so close. What are you trying to do? You want to hug me? Hey, do you understand what that will do to someone like me? You do? Okay, well, I won't say no to a hug. Um... Is this okay for me to do? I mean, I really hope you don't feel, like, forced to do this or anything. You don't? Okay. If you say so. I do want to ask, what are you proving by doing this? You what? I don't know if my mind is playing a prank on me or not, but, uh, did you just say something? You did. Could you... Could you repeat it? You... You really said that, huh? You said you love me. What... What do you mean by that? I... I need to know. What did you mean by that? <laughs> Why do you have this effect on me? you say such things? <laughs> Do you really mean it? I'm just making sure because I really can't afford this not being true. I really can't. So please, I know you said you were going to do this, but please prove it to me. You want to kiss me? I, uh... Well, I, I wouldn't be opposed, it's just... Let me find a makeup wipe, at least. You don't understand, this lipstick stays on forever. You don't want this on you. You, you say that you don't care now, but you'll be thanking me in the morning. So at least let me find a... What did you just do? Do you understand what you just did? You just proved it? Well, yeah, I, I guess you did. How are you so calm right now? Oh man, you are, you are someone else. I never knew you had this side of you. No, no, that isn't a bad thing. If anything, I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't discover this sooner. But hey, there's no point in reflecting on the past when it seems we have a lot to look forward to. Too much? Oh, you didn't expect that out of me? Well, I guess that makes the two of us, huh? You really blindsided me with this whole confession thing. So, I guess that makes us even. Oh, man. Do you think I'll remember any of this happening? I'm just trying to imagine how you're going to explain all of this when I'm sober. <laughs> well, I guess that's a story for another day. 
We'll find out when we get there. But until then, I think I'll go enjoy another drink. Can't have me remembering anything after all. Because to be honest, I want to experience this feeling all over again.